Hey, just another Jewish holiday. Why not? You know, it's fruit, it's trees. Let's make a Jewish holiday out of it. It's food, it's fun. But why? Why do we have to make a Jewish holiday for every single little thing? What is so special about the trees? The answer is, of course we're making a holiday about it. We, our lives are enriched through the beautiful Torah God gave us. Nothing is to be taken for granted. So what is it about Tu Bishvat that we are celebrating? What's unique about it? So the Talmud talks about how the Rosh Hashanah, the first year of the trees, falls out in this time of year. The 15th day of the Hebrew month of Shvat. What is unique about this time period? If you look outside, at least where I come from in Toronto, the trees are without leaves, it's dark outside, it's very cloudy. It's a very depressing scene. It looks dead out there. It's very dark. Yet at the same time, believe it or not, the Mishnah tells us that this is the most opportune time, the most important time for the seeds to grow and develop to become the future trees that they will be. Which is hard to believe because you look outside, it doesn't really look like a very fruitful time. But the Gemara says that all of the rains have already passed and this is the time where under the ground, this is exactly the most opportune time for the seeds. All right, so what does that have to do with me? That's very nice. So the trees are now in full, in full bloom. The seeds are getting ready to produce something beautiful. What is that? How do I connect to that? What does that have to do with me? So there's a very, very nice Talmud that actually compares man to tree. We are compared to trees. Okay, very nice. What, what does that mean that we we look like this? That you know, what 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 does that have to do with anything? The answer is is that if you think about it. Many times in our lives, as individuals, we have difficult times, we have difficult, difficult moments where everything is dark, things aren't going our way, we're not sure where, where we're heading in life, it, things seem dead, there's not a lot of hope, there's not a lot of light. Tu Bishvat is telling us that we are like trees. The same way on Tu Bishvat, the rain season is over, is ending, it's dark out there, but the seeds are at their most opportune time of growth and potential. So too, we have to realize that when we are at our most vulnerable and we're experiencing the most difficult moments, this is the time where we have an opportunity for tremendous, tremendous growth. We can change. We can decide to reflect on our lives and take on a new angle, a new growth. It's an opportune time. And that's something very inspiring to think about on, on Tu Bishvat. It's so important to think about Tu Bishvat, think about where we're heading, and think about how we can use the difficult times to use it for growth. You know, besides for that, just getting inspiration from, from the little things. Taking an orange, taking a, taking a peach, and looking at the beauty of God's creation. Look at how appealing the fruit looks. Take a peach, for example. Open up the peach. Take a look at the middle, the seed. The seed is covered by a case. By a, the pit is covered by a very difficult shell, a very hard shell. Try breaking that shell. You're not going to break the shell. I guarantee it. Even if you have a hammer, you'll have a very hard time breaking the shell. But miraculously, somehow, the tree eventually ends up on the ground, and the only thing that can break open, that can open this shell, is a specific enzyme that exists in the ground that is able to melt and open up the, uh, the seam that runs along this shell that carries the precious seed inside, inside the peach. This is an unbelievable, unbelievable thing. When you think about the beauty of nature and how something can develop, it's something unbelievable. And God did this all for us. So let's take this to Bishvat. And let's think about the beauty of nature, the beauty of our opportunity for growth, and take this as a lesson for us and, in, and enrich our lives with the beauty of nature. Thank you very much. <laughs>